Hey guys, and welcome back here to another mod spotlight. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. Today we are going to cover the Shuttle Train mod. Uh, this was a suggestion by a viewer, and I looked into the mod, and it seems uh, pretty cool. So essentially what this does is it adds a new train or a new in, uh, locomotive type to the game, which is a shuttle train. And it adds a research to go along with it up here. Shuttle train research. Uh, and then I think it costs costs the same as a normal engine. Uh, but what this does is it essentially lets you uh, travel between your stations and stuff uh, a lot easier uh, with a lot more ease rather than using one of your uh, already uh, used trains here or or even if you created a train just for that um, the problem with using it just for travel is when you hop in right you have to set a schedule okay so say I wanted to go to like uh, I don't know let's find a station like call outpost one right so let's say I wanted to go to call outpost one uh, I would have to add it to the schedule and then tell it to go, and then it would go there, and then if I wanted to go somewhere else, I'd have to add something else to the schedule, and then, like, delete the other thing and put it in. I mean, it, it's kind of a pain to use it just for shuttling yourself around your train system. It's kind of a pain. So that is where the shuttle train comes in. What this does is, when you hop in, um, it loads all your stations. And you tell it to go to one, and th there's no schedule or anything. You just tell it to go to one, and it will go to one. And then if you want to go to another one, you just hit it, and it will go to another one. And there you go. Uh, now, I'm going to show that in a minute, but another really cool feature is you see this train icon up here. If you hit this while you're not in a train, um, theoretically, you should be able to call the nearest shuttle train to that particular station. So what I'm going to do is we're going to run up over here to our iron station and I'm going to see if I can call the shuttle train to it because uh, this can be really nice rather than having to go find one or build another one in place that you can uh, you can just call it here so we have iron depot one what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this guy to iron depot one sent shuttle whatever this is to iron depot one from 226 meters away now, obviously, this guy is here, um, so I'm going to tell him to leave because he's in the way. But here comes the shuttle train. Here we go. He's here. Um, so that's really nice. You can call it um, to whatever station you want, right? Now, if I hop in here, I get this. Let's say we want to go to call outpost one. Um, now, obviously, this won't work here because we're facing the wrong direction, so you would either need... A turnaround um, or if I uh, just grab some more engines here and build another one uh, you could just do a double-headed train and um, and now you can put cargo wagons on this too right if you wanted like to ferry some cargo around with you or something uh, you can definitely put cargo wagons in between this uh, it pretty much works like a normal train except for the scheduling thing so I'm in here now we should be able to go to coal outpost one I just tell it to go. I don't have to set a schedule or like move my like my like my thing to tell it to which thing to go. I just tell it to go to one, and here we go. He's waiting, obviously, because there's a train there. But there you go. So this is really really nice. Uh, it just allows you to um, ferry yourself around your train system a lot easier, and uh, you don't have to use a train that's like already being used for something else. And I really think, I think actually the best feature is the ability to call it to whatever station you want, uh, you know, from wherever it is, as long as it has a path to get there. And I mean, if you wanted, you could build a whole separate track just, like, just for the shuttle train and just have the separate track go into each station. Um, that would obviously be a lot more work, but that's an option. And uh, there you go. I mean, very simple mod, costs the same as the locomotive, has the research, and uh, yeah, I mean, you can put cargo wagons on it. I'll just demonstrate here for anyone who may not trust my word. Uh, see, so you can put cargo wagons on this dude, um, so on and so forth. And uh, now, if you open it like this, it's going to be like a normal train schedule. Uh, don't do that. Just hop in, and you get your train things here, and there you go. So that's it, guys. Uh, very, very straightforward mod, um, but very helpful. 
uh, if you have like a huge train network that you need to go around often, it can be a huge lifesaver. Anyway, there you go. As always, a link down in the description uh, for the forum post where you can go check out the mod. And uh, one other thing, I'm not sure that it's working in multiplayer. I read through and it said some stuff about um, it not really being tested for multiplayer yet, so I can't say either way on that. Um, but, uh, but there you go. Works totally fine in single player, as you can see. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other mod suggestions, let me know. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and take care.